Hey guys, Game Prime here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Slide 2 Band of Thieves HD. Last time we got to Paris and foiled Dimitri's Monty. Monty. <laughs> foiled Dimitri's money printing scam. And today we are starting episode 2. Another clockwork part had surfaced in India, so the boys and I loaded up the van and zeroed in on our next target, a mysterious spice lord known as Rajan. A self-made man who grew up poor on the streets of Calcutta, he started his life a crime selling illegal spices in the black market, eventually growing his small outfit to a sizable operation and earning himself a seat in the prestigious Claw Gang. He since crowned himself Lord of the Hills and while he goes to great lengths to convince others of his royalty, it's mostly to convince himself. True to form, he's holding a lavish ball in his newly purchased ancestral palace. The reason? To show off his latest acquisition, the clockwork wings. The symbol of Miami. If you saw the wings silhouetted against the night sky, it was already too late for you. Especially if your name was Cooper. Rajan believes displaying the wings will bring him prestige, and maybe they will, but they're also bringing me. Sly Cooper and the gang in a starry-eyed encounter. Here we are in India. Let's head over here. With the drawbridge up, the only way across that river is on those conical rocks. Now you remember how to fire, Joe? What? You think I forget one of the Cooper family's greatest thief moves? Whenever I'm near pointed objects, I just need to jump and hit the circle button to perform a ninja spire landing. That's correct. Now let's see it in action. All right, the ninja spire jump. Ryoichi Cooper's famous move. There's a bottle. There's another bottle. I can be doing that. Just yet. I think we'll be doing that next part. Let's steal whatever this guy has in his pocket because he's just asking to get robbed. Get a silver medal. I'm a little rusty because I haven't played Sly in a just about a month. We have a job over here. And the monkeys are on to me. This job is called Rickon the Ballroom. seem to be plenty of branches for me to walk on. I'll figure it out. Alright. So we have to climb these uh, tree branch branches here. And walk along them. There's also like these leaves, I guess. That are mini platforms. We'll get right up here. Head in. Clockworks wing. Clockworks wing. <laughs> Left wing, right wing. This is the electronic winch.
than Rajan himself. Alright, so we have to get a Contessa. That's the Contessa, a high ranking prison warden for Interpol. She must be working undercover to expose Rajan's spice ring. Who else is at this party? Oh boy, and I cannot really talk for the life of me tonight. Carmelita. Yeah, I, I'm like six minutes in this video and I can't talk for crap tonight. So it's going to be one of those nights. Great. Alright, cool. So, job complete. Headed back to the safe house. Stealing the clockwork wings in the middle of a crowded ballroom is going to take some serious misdirection. And the squad of undercover cops only makes things more complicated. Although, we might be able to use them to our advantage. But no matter what we do in the ballroom, sooner or later we'll need to deal with Rajan's security chopper. Murray can take it out with some of the local armament, but he won't be able to get inside the palace until Sly lowers the drawbridge for him. Alright, so we're going to go and lower the drawbridge. And let's see, hold on, if I get out of that menu. Now this, within the pause menu you could see job help and that will give you the uh, jobs you could do. So we have lower the drawbridge and ballroom dance party, we're going to be doing these two as well. T in t oh my god, tonight in this episode, or part, so we'll do lower the drawbridge right now, holy crap I can't talk. Get me a bed, I need sleep. Okay, those are new enemies that we will be witnessing throughout um, this episode. So is this gigantic elephant with no pupils. I need sleep and lots of it. Sarkle Sly. <laughs> oh boy. Seems like he's constantly in this area. Lower the drawbridge right over here. It's not going to be as easy. Sly, Murray and I can't get inside the palace unless you lower the drawbridge. I'd love to, pal, but the winch is all locked down. You know where I can find the keys? Key guards have recently taken up positions around the palace. Sneak in, pick all of their pockets, and bring the keys back to the lockdown winch. All right, so another pickpocketing mission. These are going to become very common and frequent. You see, there's a guard over here, so I don't want to get caught. This guy looks like he's just ready for me.
Alright, so there's one over there as well. <clears throat> and this is good because I think it's this kind of mission that gets you familiar with the new area. I th even though that's what recon missions are really supposed to be. Our recon mission in this episode was in a different or in an indoor place rather than out in the hub. <clears throat> this is the first time I've recorded something in a pretty long time. So, happy to be back. Hopefully I could start get going on a lot of more content sooner rather than later, but we all have stuff to do. And especially because I oh no right in right into it um, I've been working really hard on my multiplayer channel oh boy you can use noise to lure this guard from his post try ringing that gong and picking his pocket when he returns to his post I'm just trying to get get away. <laughs> okay, come on, guys. Should not be noticeable anymore. Trying not to get that clue bottle. Yeah, I've been working really hard with four player gamers. Have some really funny stuff out. And a lot more to come. We are. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, I don't know how I did that, but. We are like. Backed up with stuff to record. Like, I. I have so much to edit for them. For us. probably have about a good three or four videos that need to be edited. I think we're pretty much good for the rest of April. And, uh, and the beginning of May. Next month is going to be a very interesting month for the channel, to say so the least. <clears throat> but we have our fourth drawbridge winch key here now where's that last one at? over by the safe house something I really love about the Sly games is that the, it's 2016 now it's been 10 give or take take 12 years since this game came out almost at least and it, it still plays like it was just made like these games are really flawless except for this damn elephant taking so long to cross come on elephant Yeah, these are really well made, and they've aged pretty well, if I do say so myself. It's either that, or I just play these games way too much. And I want to talk about the movie in a little bit, too, because um, Ratchet and Clank movie game just came out, and by the time this video publishes Wednesday, the movie will already be out for most people. I think I'm seeing it either Wednesday or Thursday, whatever one's the 28th. I think it's Thursday. Um, but 
I'm seeing it tomorrow if this does come out on the 27th. That I'm seeing it tomorrow. So many people have said it's good. The game was fantastic. I think it's going to be a uh, standard to set for Sly. Alright, so job complete here. We're going to head to the last Sly mission we have to do in this part and then call it a video. But yeah, um, I think the Ratchet and Clank movie is going to do very well. The game's doing very well as it is. And it's, you know, set, set the standard for what Sly should be in a few years. Because they said it was coming out in 2016, but nothing has been worked on for the movie. Just want to get that straight. Kevin Monroe has said it multiple times. I've said it multiple times. Nothing has been made for that movie yet. Only the teaser trailer, and that was kind of like, oh, hey, he here's an idea we're going to do. It wasn't like, okay, this is official. It's coming out 2016, right after the Ratchet movie. No, they haven't even worked on a script, really, for it. Peter McConnell doesn't even know if he's doing the music for it. The voice actors aren't even sure, really. I don't even think Ian James Corbett, if I got that name wrong, which I probably did. I don't even think he's going to be doing Sly. I think they'll eventually get Kevin Miller to do Sly. You know, stuff like that. Hello, I'm here for the dance. Huh? Sorry, sir, but we have a dress code. You got a tuxedo? Uh, no. Sorry, pal. No tux, no entry. <laughs> Sorry, Sly. Somehow I totally overlooked the need for formal wear. So that guy's not going to let you in without a tuxedo. Don't beat yourself up, Bentley. At a party this ritzy, there has to be a spare penguin suit around here somewhere. Try the guest house. Someone may have overpassed. Alright, so I just realized my commentary was off for the time I was speaking, so we're not going to be doing anything for Sly in this part. We will steal a tuxedo in the next part. Right now I'm gonna go over here and battle these monkeys. Hopefully that syncs up.